Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Study Buddies. So in today's video chemistry edition, we are going to learn about electromagnetic radiation. So firstly, we are going to look at the introduction to electromagnetic radiation, followed by the photoelectric effect and finally photons. Let's start the lesson. Electromagnetic radiation is a form of energy emitted and absorbed by charged particles which exhibits wave-like behavior as it travels through space. Instead of bad effect, it also has a lot of benefit to the living organism. The energy radiated into the earth is equal to the energy radiated out into the space. The electromagnetic spectrum is the range from the lowest to highest frequency of all types of electromagnetic radiations which includes radio waves, microwave, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-ray and finally gamma rays. The examples of products using electromagnetic radiations are shown in this diagram. The earth and everything on it is a source of electromagnetic radiation. Molecules interact with electromagnetic radiation. Molecules can absorb and emit light. Once a molecule has absorbed light energy, the molecule can rotate, translate, vibrate and undergo electronic transition. For instance, the interaction of water molecule with electromagnetic radiation. Now let's analyze the water absorption spectrum. So rotations occur in the microwave portion of the spectrum and vibrations occur in the infrared portion of the spectrum. Translation occurs across the spectrum and electronic transitions occur in the ultraviolet portion of the spectrum. Electromagnetic radiation has both electric and magnetic components which oscillate in phase perpendicular to each other and perpendicular to the direction of energy and wave propagation. All types of electromagnetic radiation can be described in the terminology of waves. This figure shows the wavelength of electromagnetic radiation. The wavelength of electromagnetic radiation has the symbol lambda. Wavelength is the distance from the top crest of one wave to the top of the next wave. Wavelengths are measured in units of distance such as meter, centimeter and also Armstrong. 1 Armstrong is equal to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 10 meter and 1 times 10 to the power of negative 8 centimeter. Next, the frequency is the number of crests or throws that pass a given point per second. Now let's look at the relationship between the wavelength and frequency of any waves. So velocity is equal to the wavelength multiplied with the frequency. And for electromagnetic radiation, the velocity will be 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and has the symbol C. So for better understanding, let's solve a sample question. So in this question, we are required to determine the number of frequency of green light of wavelength 5100 Armstrong in three significant figures. So firstly, we have to write down the formula. So we know that frequency is equals to velocity divided by wavelength. So in order to find the frequency, we have to take the velocity and divide the wavelength. But in this question, the wavelength is given in Armstrong. So we are required to change the Armstrong to meter. So we have to multiply 5100 with 1 times 10 to the power of negative 10. So when we solve the equation, we will get 5.88 times 10 to the power of 14. Apart from that, Max Planck postulated that atoms absorb or emit energy in exact or discrete amounts, which is known as quanta. So the equation for this is energy is equals to H multiplied with frequency, where H is Planck's constant that has a value of 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joule second. The transfer of radiant energy can occur only in integral multiple of HV. For example, it can be 2HV, 3HV or 4HV and never a fractional multiple of HV. Now let's proceed to the second part, the photoelectric effect. Photoelectric effect is a phenomenon in which electrically charged particles, which are also known as photoelectrons, 
are released from a material when it absorbs sufficient amount of electromagnetic radiation. The diagram below shows a photoelectric effect. This effect is often defined as the ejection of electrons from a metal plate when light falls on it. Now let's move to the third one, photons. Albert Einstein suggested that light is composed of tiny massless particles called photons and each photon has energy. Einstein's photon is similar to Planck's energy quantum. A photon has energy and given by equation below. The energy of photon is equals to Planck's constant multiplied with frequency. Similar to electron, light can exhibit both like a wave and a particle at the same time. Most of the time, light behaves like a wave. So now let's do a simple question that applies the formula that we have learned before. So in this question, we are required to calculate the energy of a photon of green light with wavelength of 5100 Armstrong and frequency of 5.88 multiplied with 10 to the power of 14 per second. Determine the energy of 1 mole of photons in kilojoule in 3 significant figures. So we know that the equation for energy is equals to Planck's constant multiplied with frequency. And we know that the value of Planck's constant is fixed which is 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joule second. And the value of frequency is already given in the question which is 5.88 multiplied with 10 to the power of 14 per second. So when we multiply both values, we will get the energy which is 3.90 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joule per photon. But in the question, they ask to find the energy of 1 mole of photons. So for 1 mole, we have 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 photons. So when we multiply the number of photons with the energy per photon, we will get the total energy for 1 mole of photons, which is 235 kilojoule per mole. Let's study about the process of photoelectric effect. So an incoming light quantum smashes into an electron on the surface of a metal and gives up all of its energy to the electron. And a certain amount of energy called work function is needed to overcome the force of attraction between the electron and the metallic lattice in order to set the electrons free. So there can't be any photoelectric effect unless this threshold is reached. This is the Einstein's photoelectric equation, where H refers Planck's constant, V refers the frequency of radiation in Hertz, W is the work function of the surface with threshold frequency or threshold wavelength, M is the mass of electrons, V is the velocity of ejected electron, and finally, the 1 over 2 mv square is, is the maximum kinetic energy of the ejected electrons in joules. So let's do a sample question that uses Einstein's photoelectric equation. So in this question, if a light with a frequency of radiation of 7 times 10 to the power of 14 hertz is shown on metal and photoelectrons are ejected with a maximum kinetic energy of 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joule, calculate the work function of the material. So we know what formula that we are supposed to use. And the values are already given in the question, so all we have to do is take the values and substitute into the equation. So we are required to find the value of work function. So once we substitute the values and solve the equation, we can find the value for work, which is 3.0382 multiplied with 10 to the power of negative 19 joule. Well, that's all for this video. We really hope that you all understand today's lesson about electromagnetic radiation. And if you have any doubts regarding this topic or any other subjects, feel free to ask in the comment section below and we are here to reply you and clear your doubts. And if you're not yet subscribed to our channel Study Buddies, please do subscribe it now and press the bell icon for more interesting videos regarding chemistry and also the other subjects. See you all in the next video. Bye.